Mr. Mavis. Yo, we were talking about um, the OPA extending his travels to the Republic. Yeah. So not, just, not just not just Republic. Not just travel, I say. Conquer. Actually, yeah, so he, he conquered those places. He okay. extended his empire towards that region. And I, I was shortly before the break, yeah. I, I had explained how the close tie between the Bene Republic. But I've not talked about Togo, okay, uh, okay, basically. Okay. Now, the Togo, the same year that the Bene Republic people came to Benin, so wanted to. Uh, uh, to take permission from the palace, from the Oba Benin's palace, to be named after Great Benin. That was the same here. Togo also came. The Togolese people came. They also wanted their country to be named after Benin. But uh, the, 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 uh, the Isi Daomi, the Daomi people came first, and that's why they are now called Benin Republic. So in order for them to now portray the, the historical ties between Togo and Benin, that's why the the from the information as that I am aware of yeah. says that the, the largest, the biggest university in Togo, it's University du Benin in Lome. And also one of their biggest hospital. I'm sorry, uh, hotel. It's also named Hotel du Benin. That's after Benin. Because then in nineteen seventy five the president, General Ayadima, Nasibbe of Togo. If you if you are very conversant with what's going on, it's still the Nasibbe family that has been ruling till yeah, date. Yeah, till date. Now, when General Ayadema Nasibbe came to, to to Benin Kingdom in 1975, he came to reassure to tell the Benin people that they are from Benin, that they left Igun Street, Igun Street along Shopomba. That's so, in Benin. Yes, that's in Benin. So no. that they are ancestrally from Benin. Right. And then, of course, when you get to Togo, there's people known as the Ga people. Now, the ancient Ghanaians are actually re referred to as the Ga people. The Ga people had left Benin centuries before Obaru who eventually extended the empire towards Ghana. And then uh, it was during the time of Obaru, Dagbedo. So, these are their various obvious uh, facts that, that gives credence to the fact that we are not claiming the ownership of Lagos. We are telling people, basically, from historical perspective, that we are the owner of Lagos. We are not saying Lagos State. But I'd explain that the yeah, mainland yeah, 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 was not part of Lagos. So the Lagos Island was a colony. And of course, if you browse Google the history of Lagos, you basically see the influences of Benin. Although, for the fact that it's not under the jurisdiction of the Yoruba, the Yoruba tried at all times to so suppress the fact that the true ownership of Lagos is, is, is Benin. So, so, so this great Benin movement now, um, do you intend to make other ethnic groups and ethnic ties key into this movement? Because I call it, an, uh, I, call it I, I want to call it historical movement. Uh, yeah. I call it that. Yeah, it, yes. You, so, you, you so, so partly but, correct. That, does it give um, allowance for other ethnic ties to key in? Okay, uh, well, uh, uh, that brings us to the point when we when you mean when we call Great Benin. Yeah. Great Benin is not restricted to just a do state. It's a, a do state, Delta state, River state, Anabra state. Okay. Before the invasion, before Nigeria was populated in 1914, there were no states. Okay. So we the boundary. Um, let me let me give you the boundary of Great Benin. From from there, you not picture it how. Big Great Benin walls. To the west, all right, Great Benin stretched to Ekiti, Otun. There's a place we call Otun. Otun as east, there's Otun River. Almost at the point at which Ekiti has a boundary with Kwara State. So, in other words, we are talking about 95 or 90 percent of the entire Ekiti was part of Great Benin. Of course, before by Nigeria man, before you get to Ekiti, you have to follow Ondo. So there's no way you jump over Ondo and get to Ekiti. And you remember by by creation of state, Ekiti was carved out from Ondo. So Ondo, Ekiti, a part of the Benin Empire. So at that Otun, that's where the Benin Empire had a boundary with Oyo Empire. So that's a west north. Now when you now take it to the western parts to the Atlantic Ocean, 
that's where we now consider Abi Okuta because Ekbe people, what we call Ijebu. There's a quarter here we call Uzebu. Now, the people that followed Oruba in part of his expedition in conquest of those countries, these present day West African countries, were partly some people from present day Ijebu. So, stationed at a place we now call Uzebu. Uzebu is at Ekenwa Road, down, down. So, uh, as a replica of Ijebu, Uzebu. All right, so they followed Oruba in conquest. So, Abi Okuta, part of Abi Okuta was also part of Benin Empire. Then they, what we call Lagos, is part of Benin Empire. To Benin, to Togo, to Ghana. That is the western part. Then we now talk about the present day South South. Delta, Delta, the entire Delta was submerged into Benin Empire. The entire river state was submerged. You know, Bayesa was carved out from rivers. All right, so the entire rivers were submerged. I think the only two present states in South South that was not part of the then Benin Empire was East Aqua Ibon and Cross River. So, okay. So, now then we also went across the Niger River to Anabra, Onicha, precisely. So that's where the kings of Onicha. Of course, even the Igbos are aware. The Igbos are aware. In one of the, the, the biography of Unandi Azikwe, it, the biography, he called it the Odyssey. It's everywhere. You can get it on the internet. My Odyssey. All right? Where he referred that they are not Igbos. That the ancestors left the royal house of Benin okay. to Onisha. Yes, so that, that's, this, for, that's for Onisha. Yes, the Benin got to Onisha. Okay. That's the present day southeast. It got to Onisha. And after there, there is no, well, we I can't that, get to I the tree. That's a very strong fact. So we can't get to the, the other one. But Aside that, let's not talk about the tribe that migrated from Benin. We've seen all this enclave. Now, you say the Benin that we, present day Edosa, part of the Benin Empire. The Asans are part of the Benin Empire. The Afema, Afema, three tribes, Akoko Edo, Esako, Owa, the part of Benin Empire. Not just part of the Benin Empire, they migrated from where we are right now, Benin, to those areas. So we have tribes like um, Ika, Ukwani. We have tribes like uh, Ikwiri. I mentioned that one before. We have Ikwiri. Like yes, in Uroha. They are called Uroha, but their nickname is called Ikwiri in River State. We have Ekbe. In short, there, is, there are three of them are regarded as the sons of Akalaka. Wow. Kalaka was a Benin warrior who left to migrate. So he gave birth to Ekbe being the firstborn, Uba the secondborn, Iwoha the, the thirdborn. All right? So you have those three ethnic nationalities migrating from, from Benin. Then when you now get to Bayesa, we have Obia and Degema. I'm not saying Ijo. Ijo, Ijo's are not Benin. They're not from Benin. All right? Okay, okay. So we are saying Obia. And Degema, it's a clown in Bayesa. They, they, they authenticate the fact. Well, once you get there, they'll tell you that they are from Benin. Oh, seriously? Yes, Degema and all. But all these people doesn't deny. Then, partly Shekiri. I would say partly Shekiri because we take confidence. It's just like the argument between the Yorubas and the Benins. All right? Uh, the Yorubas are not from Benin. Benins are not from the Yorubas. It's just that we give them a king. All right, let's not go there. But the point yeah. is, is the royal house of Ishekiri is the Benin royal house. In short, the first Olu of Ori is called Prince Ijinua, who was, a, who was the first son of Oba Olua. So he was actually told to, because he wasn't light in Benin, so the father had decided to create another place, and the father told him to become Ogiamen. Ogiamen in Benin means Ogie, is king, Amen, water. You go and be the king over the water. That's why the nick original name for the Olu of Wari are called Ogiame. And every Olu of Wari must their mother must either be an Ishekiri woman or a Benin woman. In short, this present Olu of Ishekiri was not supposed to be the Olu of Ishekiri. The first son of the last Olu of Ishekiri, because his mother was not Ishekiri or Benin. So that's why he wasn't crown as a Olu. So this present Olu of Wari, the mother is Benin. So these are our evidence claimed. We are not saying the Shekiri are from Benin until they say so. But it is a common knowledge to the Shekiri people which they don't deny that their royal house is from Benin. So outside that one we have Urubu. They are probably Benin. They refer to us as Aka. Then we have Isoko. They refer to us as Idu. 
So, so the, the great Bini kingdom really extends far to reach to all it. Yes. Bayelsa, Ori. Yes, and, that's their time. And part of the Yoruba. Yes, I just showed you some part of the Yoruba. I, I extended it now. When you now look at down to Benin Republic, Togo, okay, Ghana, even Benin Republic, the, that, the West and African and country. And clear cut evidence is there are clear cut Yes, yes. I, I, I've yeah. given some. I've given some. So, oh, yeah. when you now look at, if you look at the geographical map of this location, you look at, um, the other day, about three weeks ago, one of our brothers is into photography. So, we went to Oguta. Oguta is one of the biggest communities in Imo State. And we went to the very, the king of Oguta, and as soon as they were introducing themselves, and when he introduced himself as Benin, he was like, oh, Benin, ah, how are you? The king of Oguta, well, this is not, I didn't come with a video, he, he videoed the whole thing, where he said that they are from Benin, that was just three weeks ago. I was with Dr. Aysen Ekagos, one of the foremost Benin historian, about a week ago, where he said that, when he was the, the head medical director of the then Bendel State, then he, he used to, Abo, Abo Kingdom is the oldest kingdom in Ukwani region, Anioma. Where the king used to tell him that they are probably Benin. So, 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 is there any event coming up soon? An event uh, of, yeah, of yeah. Events? We we having we having pile up of events. Presently, we are establishing branches all over the country and over the world. Um, okay. Uh, we have successfully established a GBN chapter in River State. Okay. That state is coming up about a week or two. I'll be traveling to Lagos next week to okay. establish because they are already calling for a GBN chapter over there. So um, another one is going on to be established in the next one or two weeks in Spain and Austria because we want to make it a worldwide thing. Okay. okay and then yeah, so yeah, but yeah. our meeting our, our meeting days for now, for this year it's first uh, last Saturday of every month. But from next year it's gonna be quarterly based. So how can someone be a member? I, 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 yes, I just I just I just told you that these people I just called, this Asan Ikori, all the names I mentioned. Yeah. They, they are, are Benin. I'm not more Benin than them. Okay. It's just like you are an Okrikama, right? Yeah, yeah. And so when you, it's just like you, you, your family had left here for like a hundred years ago, probably in the United States of America. Yeah. And because of the fact that you left Okrika River State, right? A hundred years ago, does that make that you're not from Okrika? No, no, no. And so no matter what, they are not more Benin than them. It's just that we are trying to not make them realize that for crying out loud, we are all Benin. Yes, so, so once you're part of this ethnic nationality and within yourself you are convinced okay, so automatically you are a yeah, member. Okay, that's, that's, that's there is a, okay, there's no no yeah. kind of forms and no, all yeah, that. Yeah. So do you got any message for the Benins? Well uh, the Benins, like you say, like Yes, yes, I stand. So it's not like like I explain that do is a subtract of Benin. Once you are saying Edo, that means you're just speaking a do state from inside yeah, Benin. Yeah, so yeah, what, yeah, what happens Benin. to Togo, what happens to Eko yeah, okay. people and all that. So when the message my message for the Benin people is that um the British they try to annihilate us in eighteen ninety seven okay. through the British expedition and made us minorities that we are today. But uh, history said that we were never minority. In short, if they were supposed, we are supposed to be a super majority in the present in Nigeria, going from the geographical uh, explanation I just gave to yeah, you. Yeah. So uh, that's because they knew who we were. We are the only, only resistance they faced. And um, they tried to decimate our, our spiritualness. They tried to kill our, our morale, um, the fabrics of our morale. They tried to kill our physical attribute through conquest of war. And they stole almost all our historical artifacts that we are very religious. But um, the ancestors built the empire through alliances and, and through integrations of every person to be part of it. And now we have realized that we, once we are glorious people and there is nothing stopping us from recapturing the, the, the re, re, regaining the lost glory of Benin through, through extending our hands to our brothers and sisters who over five, six, seven hundred years ago left and migrated so that we can now come to a forum like Great Benin Movement where we can now begin to gain our food and let the world know that though they try to conquer us, but we're just like a seed. They buried us, but they never knew we were going to grow again. So that's a particular what we're doing. We're growing again. Okay, Mr. Mavis, I really want to appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And I really like the fact that you've really educated us. 
to yeah. the extent. Thank you very much. Extensively, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Thank you very like much. many things I didn't know, yeah. many Thank things the viewers didn't know, I think they know now. Yes. Um, and like you said, your movement is global. Yes, it is. And the Blessing Production is an online platform where everything is being promoted globally. Yes. Very much. Yes. Um, we're happy you came. Thank uh, you very much. You can see come around sometimes. Uh, that would be my excited sign. All right, and update us on your movement. Obviously. Because I Obviously. want to be a part of your movement. Obviously. I'm already a part of your movement. Definitely, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's great. Right, you your favorite host. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is the Richie Family Gabby, aka Lakoy. Yeah, I'm on the Blessing Production. Please do not take the face off the station. Keep watching the Blessing Production. Cool.